camera, like, um, how do we know each other? Oh, when I, when I met Joe, he was really little, small. <laughs> <laughs> he was was the smallest in the in the in the, in the group. Everybody was yeah. tall and big. I know. Um, but it's good to see him growing to be a man of God, coming into faith and serving God. I'm so grateful, even for this mighty woman of God, Becky, um, that has come. And then it's just it's just one of those things where God brings people together, and um, it doesn't matter whether you you, you are black or white. When I met Joe, it was like one of our, one of my uh, son, I can say, or brother, <laughs> my, my baby brother. <laughs> so like when they when his wife come in, it's like we've known each other for for forever. It's like the whole family. Yeah, because we're we're one. Yeah, I am so <laughs> grateful uh, for them uh, that they come they came here, and I pray that they come to Yorkshire. He was saying about there's lots of people that they don't know the Lord. So I, I pray that God to touch his heart, that he can come in here. That's when we need a lot of work. And, um, more people to come to yeah, we need more evangelists to come to Yorkshire to preach to all these sheep. No, I'm joking. We, need, we genuinely need like <laughs> people to come. But come, it's a beautiful part of the world, guys. Like Ilkley Moor, Batat. And Yorkshire, another yeah. thing in Yorkshire, we are the best. We have got Yorkshire water, Yorkshire tea, yeah. Yorkshire pudding. Morrison, the, the Morrison's, York, Morrison's York, was sighted in Yorkshire. Yorkshire on God's country. Yeah. That's Yorkshire Morn. So, yeah, you're a proud Yorkshire lady. Yeah, I'm though. proud. I'm proud to be Yorkshire. Yeah. That's cool, man. So, this is Morrison, little, little reservoir in Yorkshire, near Oakworth. So, we're going to go and see Richard and Brenda. Basically, barley uh, and wheat. Yeah. And they, had, they had uh, minerals and vitamins uh, and uh, a bit more protein. And the farm, Yorkshire, Oldfield. On to uh, this corn. Oh. These are. Um, well, uh, they feel things and touch things with the, with the tongues and mouths like you do with. Do you reckon you, they wouldn't be smart enough to get out, would they? Like oh no, but sometimes, sometimes that by accident you can you can pull that. That's why the strings he, he, are. A second ago, he had that in his mouth, yeah. and he was he was just like sucking on it. The play, the play was. Yes. Yeah. See, that's why these these programs on television. Yeah. Uh, there was one program when it showed up. Uh, it was going down a, a big pig unit, and <laughs> saying how cool they were and blah blah blah, and it showed a pig. Chewing, chewing something like that, which they do, they just do it out of curiosity, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And making out it was because the pig was bored and all that lot, but it's, it's not, it's just. Uh, it's just what they do. Yeah. Oh. Know, they're, they're always licking things, it's, it's. Yeah. You know, they lick each other, they lick. It's for all the vegans watching. Yeah. yeah. If you were. Uh, like, look, this is a farm, yeah. and these animals have a good life, don't they? Yeah. They have a good life. I, I, I would think so. Yeah. They get better, better looked after than my wife looks after me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you listening? Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 this one's, this one's oh. trying to make love now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you yeah, do at the moment, that's just, uh, that's just, uh, you can play, but it, it, of course, it's the, it's the start of the, uh, <laughs> the they do everything, they just do everything humans do, but, they do everything that humans do. Well, they just really, they improve, they <laughs> <laughs> but they just like a bit less like decorum about it. They just do it whenever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. train them to go away as well, we're called driving. That's oh, cool. Now they're coming back. Oh, hey, we. 
Switch, velho. Can you get him to come to us? <laughs> get him to watch, come to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're coming. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh cool. Get him. <laughs> it's like, they're, they're not going to do anything. They're quite scared animals. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get him. They've got proper horns on them, hold up, hold up. Get him, get him, get him. Dog whisperer. Yeah. Reach, <laughs> Dan. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Come back. Stand there, Dan. That'll do. That'll do. Good lad. <laughs> Why does everything you say? That's so cool. <laughs> How long have you had him for? Um, I got him from Ireland when he was six months. Oh. He's about two years, six months or so. Okay, it's two years. Two years. Just came cool. to Richard and Brenda's now at Helen's. Did Richard used to live over there? He used to live in that house there. Okay. That's beautiful. I'm impressed. Because I've come to like childhood uh, family friends, and this place is amazing. Yeah, we just stopped for a second. Um, something, I thought something was wrong with the car, but it was just a stick in the end. A stick was stuck on the floor. And then uh, Rebecca just said, and even the sheep were concerned for me. So they just came over to have a gander. A little bit gutted, because it's Tuesday today, and it's only open Wednesday to Sundays. So I don't know if there's really anything we can see. Go for a quick place walk. Is the Brontney place is closed, but this is just so cool, man. Look at this. Like proper, like old English town health. I didn't really know, when I lived there, I didn't know the craze about it, but people come for miles to come here. It's just a very steep hill here. So, so we go through this part. That strip up that road is so nice walking down. Okay, the guy told us 10 minutes walk. It's just down here, but my legs are hurting now. And I'm only on slides. It probably wasn't wise, to be honest. It wasn't wise to wear slides. <laughs> well, the train at our... What did that guy say it was? You won't really be able to see this train in action today, apparently. Man, that's strong. That smells strong. Proper old fashioned style. With the coal. I think it costs quite a lot of money to drive this one.
we have the tree too. Yeah. <laughs> Say again. Oh, when you go. Oh, when you go. Oh, okay, cool. What? That's so cool. You can see it from the road, you see. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Oh, right now. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Rest of this village. Baby's getting tired. But I'm tired as well, to be fair. Especially when I'm on the slides. Oh. Hunters of health. So, when I lived in Oakworth, this was my first house. You've probably seen from these vlogs, I've lived all over the place. But I spent from age three till 11. Yeah. And we've got a big caravan there now. So yeah. 18 till let's drive in Oakworth. So, this wall, I'm not gonna show you the house, there's a guy there, no. I used to jump, play cricket matches in this back garden with my brother. We used to jump over this wall, and then we take the dogs. We had this dog called Sweet, Richard, who you met with, he gave us that dog. And then we'd just be like, yeah. This is back in the day, you know, where you just, back in my day, you literally just, I played out here in the woods with my mates until like six at night. And then I just went home and tea was on the table. So I, I didn't have mobile phones or anything. I wasn't using like smartphones. And yeah, I just played out here. Yeah, so when I used to go all the way through the woods, you get to this thing, and then... Yeah, yeah, it's still the same. That's awesome, it's like a little maze. Just careful where you step in. It's just a place for kids to play, isn't it? We used to play TIG. Can you imagine playing TIG around there? It's massive, it's really huge. You get down here, This is amazing, it's like, look at this. Can you imagine being like three to 11? That's just the coldest thing ever. You've got a basketball corp there, bowling green here. But honestly, it was amazing, you could play TIG. You'd just be there with your mates when you were little. It's a perfect place to be when you're like age three to 11. Imagine moving from here and then moving to Bradford, what you saw when I was age 11. Mm. Gone from like lovely life in village to just Bradford. <laughs> and then, I, that's why I was, I, I, I resented my parents for a bit. I was like, why did we have to move here? But it's my dad's job, wasn't it? Because yeah. it looks like a, it looks like a little monster or something. And then you come up here. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, health and safety, you've got to be careful. Yeah. I'm surprised there's so that's the thing about village, things don't always get closed down, because, like, if it's in London, it'd probably get closed down for health and safety. Health and safety. That's a step, you've got to be careful. Not even a step, look at the drug. Yeah. We're back. Your turn now. Not me. So, tell us the memories of Oakworth Primary School. I really don't remember. Yeah. It's too long ago. I don't remember much. I've got maybe a memory of playing in the sandpit, but that's about it. I remember these two statues, though. This is... Uh, so Isaac Holden. Sort of vaguely remember that. I remember that entrance there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This entrance as well. Yeah, this one's kind of busy. 
Oh, quest station, we could go down there. This is my well, just we could just show the left and film the left. See this? <laughs> I don't think when I was growing up here, this didn't exist. <laughs> There's a lot more concern for that now, obviously, times have changed. Yes. Okay. So. I'm surprised the gates are open on a non-school day, but it's anyway. It's like handsome, is it? Okay. So this is where I came to primary school. Oakworth Primary School until age 11. Then we moved to Bradford. I, I can't really say much because I, I don't really remember much about it. I just remember it's a village, right? So some of our teachers literally live like on our street and stuff. <laughs> it was a lady that taught me. I think she lived right at the top of my street on Sunday's Drive. Yeah. Because it's a school, I don't want to go inside. But... Okay, guys, the battery's low, but this is the church where my dad was for a little while. And uh, yeah, for me, age 3 to 11. And this, we managed to walk around everything in like about 15 minutes. It didn't take long. But Oakworth's a small village, so yeah. But it's impressionable years of my life. I still am thankful that I was brought up in church and stuff because I knew the Bible from young. I didn't have the Holy Spirit. I didn't have the Holy Spirit until I was 11. No, sorry. What am I talking about? 19. Um, but I knew the Bible. I believed in God ever since I was little, so. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about God's elect. I guess I was just always destined to become a Christian. So even though I was brought up with tradition, I'm so thankful I had some kind of Christian background because it helped me. Uh, definitely was but you don't need to have that, you know. Sometimes it's more helpful for people if they don't have that when they give their lives to Christ because they don't have the traditions of men. And you don't have all that tradition baggage with you. So, yeah. Right, guys, let's call it the end of the day. Let's call that the end of this vlog because my battery's low on my camera. We're tired, we need to get back to our parents. So I'll lift the final words to wife. Stay tuned for the next one. Bless.